Hello everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast, the podcast that makes a personal connection to everything Apple. For this episode, I want to feature Hype by Tumult, specifically Hype 2.0, which was just released for the Mac, which comes with some exciting new features that I'm going to share with you. The first feature I want to go over is Curved Paths. If you're familiar with Hype, Hype enables you to control the actions on screen, which then becomes animations. Before, they were primarily linear. Now you can create curved paths. So let me demonstrate how that works. I'm going to head, go ahead and take this home button here that I created for this project intended for the iPad. And I'm going to go ahead and position this at the beginning of the timeline. I'm going to hit the record button and I'm going to set this to maybe six seconds that this path is going to take to get to its destination. So I'm going to take this home button now and then drag it to the place where I want it to go. Okay, that's fine. Now you'll see there's a little tiny red line. You probably can't see it on screen, but I'm going to try to highlight it here. I'm going to grab that line and then begin dragging it so that I can create a curved path. So now you see my buttons now going to come in following this path or trajectory. I'm now going to stop the record button. And let's go ahead and preview this in a browser. The next feature I want to highlight, audio actions. This is a great new feature. Up until this point, I had a difficult time integrating audio because I'm not that savvy with JavaScript. But now, Hype has made it a lot easier for anyone to incorporate audio into their projects. So essentially, this is how it's done. You can add audio, of course, two ways. You can add it through the scene inspector or through the actions inspector. I'm going to add it through the scene inspector because I want the audio to play as this scene loads. So this is my intro page where I have my animated button that I just created and I'm going to add audio along with that. I'm just going to go ahead and just add some kids cheering. And I'm going to do that by going to the scene inspector and then clicking on on scene load. And as the action, I'm going to scroll down to play sound. And you can see you have three different options. MP3, OGA, and WAVE. These are file types for the different browser options that you're going to have to keep in mind when you're doing this. But I'm just for now, I'm just going to go with a WAVE file. Okay, I just added the audio file to this scene. So now when my project is launched, the sound's going to play automatically along with the animation. So let's go ahead and preview this in a browser. In addition to adding audio to a scene, you can also add audio to an individual element. So for example, I have eight tile images here. Each one I want to play a sound or recording by this artist who I'm featuring. And so I'm going to go ahead and select one of these items and I'm going to go to the actions inspector and I'm going to click on on mouse click and then for actions, I'm going to select play sound. As you can see, once again, I'm prompted to then locate the file that I'm going to play. So for this demo, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight a WAV file that I have set up, which is the artist talking about this particular quilt about Martin Luther King. So now let's go ahead and preview this in a browser. Let's go to the next scene here. And the tile on the top right is the tile that I used to add the recording. So now let's go ahead and click on that. This quilt is entitled Portrait of the King. I made this in 2000. This is one of three quilts. The other one is 
Now what you notice here is that the recording is still playing even though I just left the scene. So we have to do something to fix that. So let's go back to our main project. And now what we want to do, while we're on this scene, we want to go back to scene actions. And instead of choosing on scene load, we're going to choose on scene unload. And under actions, we're going to select stop sound. And then under sound, we're going to select the file that's playing, which happens to be this file here. Now let's go ahead and preview it in the browser with this new stop action added to this scene. Okay, let's go to the next page. I'm going to click and play audio. And now I'm going to go back to the home page. The audio stops and now we can hear the audio in the first frame without the interference of the previous recording. The next feature I want to highlight, swiping and touch gestures. You may have noticed before during the demo that I set up each scene so that you can advance them by scrolling vertically or horizontally, but these actions occur by pressing on a button. Now you can make these actions intuitive with a touch screen interface. So how you do that is these are scene actions. So with the scene inspector selected, I'm going to set up these swiping animations. Initially, I set up the buttons to scroll vertically to the next scene. So I want to do the same thing, but I want to make this a touch gesture. And I'm going to scroll down here under the scene inspector and select swipe up. And then under actions, I'm going to select jump to scene, next scene. So now in addition to pressing the button, you can now use your finger to swipe upwards. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So now I'm going to take my cursor and just drag upward on the screen. And it now advances to the next scene. And that brings me to the final feature that I want to highlight for this episode. And that is the updated preview features that now come with Hype 2.0, including the option to preview your projects on your iOS devices. Now for this demo, I'm going to actually mirror my iPad on screen so you can see how this works when you're pre previewing your projects using your iPad. So here is a mirror image of my iPad adjacent to my Hype project. And before I actually go through the process of mirroring my project, you need to download an application and it's called Hype Reflect. You can see I already purchased this, so I'm just going to go ahead and download this to my iPad. Okay, let's go ahead and open the application. Okay, initially, you'll see this intro message by Hype, basically giving you the instructions on how to do this, but it's fairly simple. I'm going to go ahead to my Hype project now, and instead of previewing my project in the Chrome browser, I'm going to select the drop down menu and you see I have options to view this on my iPad and my iPhone. I'm going to select iPad and now my project will begin to appear on my iPad. Now I'm going to go ahead and swipe up with my finger and it takes me to the next scene. And those are some of the new exciting features that come with Hype 2.0. I would encourage you to download the application now. It's a bargain. It's now $29.99, so basically $30. Bucks. Visit Tumult.com to learn more about all of the exciting new features. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of My Apple Podcast. My name is Tim Brown. Check me out next time.